Okay, so today we're going to look at doing a simple wee image transfer. Uh, to do this process, what you need is some just standard uh, PVA wood glue. We're going to use obviously a wood slice because we're doing our Christmas decoration. You need a printed out image. Now with the image, I could have cut around the actual outline of it. Um, but I'm just going to leave it with, with a wee bit of extra paper there. We can remove that at a later date. And you need just a simple wee brush here. So the first part of this process is sticking this image face down onto our wood slice. And what we're gonna use is our wood glue for that there. If you're using a uh, text, so writing, you would have to make sure that the text is mirrored because when you stick it down, it's obviously you're reversing it. So it has to be a mirrored image, or sorry, a mirrored text if you want it writing on your piece. So all we do is, um, if you had a paint tray, um, you just squeeze a bit of glue into it, but I'm just going to squeeze a wee bit of glue here onto um, my sheet of paper here. Then I'm going to get my uh, brush, dip it in the glue, and just paint the glue all across the full surface of it. Now, why we put on the full surface on it? is because once you apply a layer of glue and if you only apply it to a bit of it it will actually give a slightly different thickness and slightly different look to some one part of the slice so by putting on the whole slice it'll be a consistent look for it don't be too skimpy uh, with the glue just make sure it's nice and smooth so that there's not big blotches sitting in any one part because then my image will not sit down uh, nice and flat on it. Once I have it fully uh, covered, then just lightly rub the strokes up and down it so it gives a nice consistent finish. Next part is I take my image. So this is my sand image. Obviously I want to position it, um, roughly speaking central. So I'm going to start at the bottom here, make contact with the bottom, then lightly rub the image in. So I'm going to start from the bottom corner and lightly rub the image up along the side and gradually work my way across here. What you want to make sure is that the full part of the image makes full contact with the wood. If a part of it does not fully glue down, the image will not transfer. So it's just taking your time to make sure that there's no air bubbles caught in it no wee lumps and you just double check the whole surface here once we're happy with it what you must do now is you must let this dry i'd recommend leaving it overnight so you know over 24 hours it'll be done before then but give it as much time as possible don't leave it beside something hot uh, that is going to dry too quickly just leave it in natural conditions and leave it overnight Now, <clears throat> once our piece is dry, um, so we've left it, left it overnight, then we want to remove the paper. So how we do that, we have just a glass of water, we dip our finger in the glass of water, and we lightly wet our piece. Not too much water, you don't want to soak it, just lightly wetting it all the edges around. Once you have it fully wet, then all you're going to do is lightly rub your finger across the piece. So once you wet water, what, what happens straight away is the paper starts to crumple up. Keep dipping the finger in it because obviously the water will remove and you keep lightly rubbing it. Do not scrape it, lightly rub it. What's going to happen is the paper will gradually start to remove. On the outsides where there is no um, image, you can obviously rub slightly harder, but where the image is, you just want to rub nice and light so it, it just does not remove the actual ink just removes the surface paper. So after, after a minute, you'll start to see the image itself starting to appear. So the water has penetrated through the, the paper. And now we just keep lightly rubbing it until we're left with no paper. So see here on the outside, I'm gonna rub away the paper fairly heavy because there's no need to keep it. 
but once we come close to the image again we go nice and light so you should start to see um, Santa's head starting to come through here So obviously if you cut the exact image out, you don't have this excess paper um, to rub out. But obviously when you're if you do go to cut out the full image, you just gotta be careful that you don't nick a small piece of the outside of it. So every now and then take your image, just give it a light wee rub, just to take off that paper so you can kind of see what is left. That's after a minute or two of work, you can should be able to see the image is starting to come through. We can still see some white pieces, so yet again, go back with the finger, lightly rub the image. If you start to see any of the ink coming off, that means you've gone too far, or else you didn't glue the image down uh, correctly. So if the image isn't perfectly flat with no bubbles, then obviously part of the image will not um, stick to the wood. And then you'll be left with blotches. So yet again, I've taken another bit off. So I'll turn on its side. You can do this with a light brush or just your hand and just lightly remove the paper off. We'll give it one last run over it. I'm gonna go on the outside here first. I can still see some white bits just sitting on the outer edge. And then I'm going to give a light rub over the main piece again. Once we've done that, then all we want to do is let it sit and let it dry because once it dries out we will see if there's still any paper left there because it will cloud up um, now that we've let our uh, water dry you should be able to see that you can see still see some of the excess paper that's sitting on it so my image is clouded up with it so all we do then is we go back to my uh, water lightly dip it again and now we see the, the areas that need the excess rub and we just lightly rub our finger across it again. So you may need to let this dry twice, you know, three times. I know it takes a couple of minutes for the paper to uh, show its face again. Usually on the second time you get most of it, but there's no harm to let it sit and rest just just to make sure um, And then that'll give it a nice consistent uh, Look when you're finished Yet again When we have a bit removed we just put up on its side We give it a light dusting down just to take off any of the wee pieces of Paper because we don't want it to re stick onto it and cause wee lumps for when we apply our varnish. Once we're happy um, with our image, and obviously, as I said, I would let this, I'd recommend leaving this another time there, but I'm happy enough with the way that's turned out. I've done this a few times, and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my, I could use varnish, but I'm just going to use my wood glue here. And I'm going to apply a coat across the surface of it. And all this is going to do is going to seal my image so that it'll be scratch resistant or as close to scratch resistant as we can get it. And it'll give it a nice clear finish on the top. And it'll kind of give, once it dries in, my image should be nice and glossy. So yet again, try and keep it nice and consistent like we did with the original layer that we glued our piece on it. And once you have the full surface covered, you just let it dry 
and within within 20 30 minutes you should see how the finished product has turned out the last thing that we're going to do when 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 this is dry obviously we need to drill a hole in this here so we can attach either a bit of string or a bit of ribbon and obviously there's a reverse side of it here so obviously there's options there to add text or add another image of your choosing.